into the woods. I frequently tramped eight or ten miles through the deepest snow to keep an appointment with a beech tree or a yellow birch or an old acquaintance among the pines. Henry David Thoreau. The woods grew right behind our house on Misty Hill Farm and rose up the mountain for many acres behind it. In late fall, the trees bared their branches and the crispy leaves lied on the ground, dry on the surface, moist underneath. The woods comprised another of our playgrounds. During the daytime, we hiked, rode our horses, camped, and built haphazard tree houses in the giant oaks from scraps of wood. At night, we left the woods and made sure we were safe at home. To me, the woods were a study in opposites, towering trees and tiny mosses, dry leaves and moist earth, noisy wind in the treetops, and quiet stillness on the ground alive and dead. How marvelous that all these things could coexist at the same time in the same place. One fall morning when my mom was burning trash in the barrel at the base of the woods, an errant spark flew onto a too near pile of leaves. It caught fire and immediately the situation became dire. The flame quickly started dancing around the ground on dry leaves and drier vines. My usually practical and always quick-thinking mom took off her shirt and tried to smother the flames with it. She told me to get the hose while she made a frantic call to arms to my brothers. I pulled the garden hose out the back door. My older brother and his friends came out with blankets and rugs. Things took a turn for the worse when the fire danced up a tree to its very top. I pointed the hose, but it was ineffectual. The weak stream of water didn't even reach halfway up the tree. The leaves burst into flames and I thought, oh my God, my beloved woods are going to burn up. And then all of a sudden, the wind died down a bit. With the blankets and rugs and my mom's shirt, everyone was able to put the fires out on the ground. The fire on the tree just never went any further. I'm not sure why. Maybe the flames just got tired of dancing. In my personal life, I've learned that just like the woods I loved, I can appreciate the opposites that make up who I am. Sometimes I think I am skinny, and sometimes fat. Loud and quiet, frantic and still, happy and sad, and that's okay. What opposite traits do you embody 